Isang uh, magandang uh, gabi po sa bawat isa. Ay po ay lalapit na sa Panginoon sa ating uh, midweek prayer meeting at sa ating panimula ay hilingan kong bawat isa na tayong lahat ay tumayo. At purihin natin ang Panginoon sa pamagitan ng pagawit na ito. I shall not be moved. First now. Jesus is my Savior, I shall not be moved. In His love and favor, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, Lord, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters. Lord, I shall not be moved. In my Christ abiding, I shall not be moved. In His love I'm hiding, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, Lord, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters, Lord. I shall not be moved. Turn on. If I trust Him ever, I shall not be moved. He will fail me never. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters, Lord. I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, Lord. I shall not be moved. Last one. On this word I'm feeding, I shall not be moved. He's the one that's leading. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters. Lord, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters. Lord, I shall not be moved. May standing tayo po ay manalangin. Nakilang Diyos, salamat po Panginoon sa gabing ito, sa oras na kalog mo sa amin upang kami po ay muli magkatipon sa iyong uh, bayisambahan Panginoon upang kayo po ay papurihan, uh, pasalamatan sa mga kabutihan mo Panginoon na pinagkalog mo sa amin sa nakalipas ng linggong ito Panginoon. Kayo po ang magpatawad sa mga kasalanan na nagawa namin laban sa iyo Panginoon. Linisin niyo ang mga puso upang maging kalugod-lugod sa iyong harapan ang pagtanggap namin ng iyong salita na ito po ay magbigay po ito ng pagpapala sa puso ng bawat isa at salamat Panginoon sa iyong uh, mga provision pat- patuloy mong pinagkakalog sa bawat isa sa amin nalangin ko na patuloy mo rin pangunahan ng mga kapatiran namin na hindi po namin makasama sa gabing ito na wapo ay patuloy mo silang ingatan, pagpalain Panginoon na sa araw-araw po ng aming buhay ay kami po ay patuloy na manalig Panginoon at magtiwala po Panginoon sa iyo sa mga pagsubok na pagkakalog mo Panginoon na ito ay uh, kayo po ang lalapitan namin Panginoon upang humingi na ng saklolo Panginoon. At pong namo Panginoon ang aming uh, midweek prayer meeting sa gabing ito at sa mga kapatiran namin na sumusubaybay Panginoon sa aming uh, uh, every life Panginoon na ito po ay pong namo rin sila Panginoon pagpalaay mo ang kanilang mga buhay kristyano. Gamitin mo kami Panginoon, bibig mo sa pagpapahayag ng silita hanggang sa iyong pagbabalik at nawa po ay patuloy mong pangunahan ang gabing ito. Nawa po ang iyong salita ay magbigay po na pakinabang sa aming mga spiritual na buhay, Panginoon. At patatagin niyo kami patuloy sa araw-araw po ng aming pamumuhay na lahat po ng mga bagay na, 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 na po ito ay 
matuto kaming uh, ipagkatiwala sa iyo, Panginoon, sapagkat sa iyong kalooban ay walang kabiguan, Panginoon. At salamat muli, Panginoon, sa uh, gabing ito, sa oras na pinagkalaman sa amin. Mawa po ay bigyan mo, Panginoon, ng kahalagahan ang panalangin na ito, Panginoon, sapagkat ang aming pagdaing sa iyo ay ito ay kahayagan po ng aming kahinaan, Panginoon. At kailangan namin, Panginoon, ay iyong tulong upang ang aming mga petisyon, ang aming mga panalangin ay magkaroon po ng katugunan ayon po sa iyong kalooban at sa iyong kaparaan, Panginoon. Muli kami nagpapasalamat sa mga kabutihan mo sa amin. Dalangin ko na hindi namin ganti ng kasama ng iyong mga kabutihan sa amin. Alat idalangin namin sa tanging pangalan ng aming mananak, Jesus Christ Jesus. Amen. Tayo po ay maupo. <clears throat> And let's sing another song. Sa hymn number 44. Constantly abiding. There's a peace in my heart That the world never gave A peace it cannot take away The trials of life may surround like a cloud. I have a peace that has come here to stay. Constantly abiding, Jesus is mine. Constantly abiding, rapture divine he never leaves me lonely whisper oh so kind I will never leave thee Jesus is mine all the world seems to sing of a savior and king When peace sweetly came to my heart, troubles all fled away, and my night turned to day. Blessed Jesus, how oh, glorious Thou art, constantly abiding, Jesus is mine. Constantly abiding, rapture divine. He never leaves me lonely, spur also kind. I will never leave thee, Jesus is my last now. This treasure I have. In a temple of clay, while here on his footstool I roam. But he's coming to take me some glorious day over there to my heavenly home. Constantly abiding. Jesus is mine, constantly abiding, rapture divine. He never leaves me lonely, whisper oh so kind, I will never leave thee, Jesus is mine. for that song. Uh, thank you very much, Brother Sunny, and welcome everyone to our midweek uh, prayer meeting and uh, brief meditation. At uh, sa gabing ito ay tatapusin natin at may ugnay tayong uh, uh, 
mahalagang uh, responsibilidad na uh, doon sa ating sinimulan na chart na kung saan ay meron tayong uh, uh, vertical relationship sa Panginoon at mga kalakip o kaakibat na mga uh, responsibilidad uh, sa relationship na ito at ganun rin ay uh, ang Panginoon ay meron rin uh, uh, relationship sa atin at inaasahan niya ang mga bagay-bagay na sa atin ay uh, makatutulong uh, upang tayo ay maging mga uh, matatatag o matitibay na mga uh, krisyano. At uh, ang problema is uh, itong relational dito, horizontal, na madaling uh, maapektuhan ng ating fellowship uh, sa isa't isa at a very slight uh, 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 action or uh, 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 doing ay maaring uh, maputol ito. But then uh, we have uh, to take everything to the Lord in prayer at uh, ayusin at Uh, sa harap ng Panginoon at sa isa't isa ang anumang bagay na tila ay uh, uh, na-affectohan when we are out of fellowship with God. But essential dito sa uh, chart natin kung if you would uh, please uh, post again sa chart natin yung triangle that everything begins and ends with God and then uh, downward uh, uh, God uh, 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 communicate with us in this relationship through uh, the Bible and prayer so that the established uh, uh, relationship would be strengthened by uh, uh, our uh, obedience. Nasa baba ang uh, obedience. Ang center ay ang cross ng Panginoon. And then sa horizontal, I, uh, we, te- uh, we took up fellowship at tuwing umaga ng Sunday, ay sa uh, uh, buhay ng mga apostles ay ang pangunahing uh, uh, drive o motivation sa bawat isa sa kanila is uh, that they witness for the Lord o uh, soul uh, winning, they won souls to the Lord. Okay, so uh, uh, ngayon ay sa pagtatapos natin, siguro ay naalala ninyo that there were three things in 1 John chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 9 or verse 10 there were three things that uh, uh, we uh, uh, glean from this passage of scripture uh, first okay uh, the reality of fellowship and we know uh, what fellowship is and how to fellowship and when to fellowship and then also uh, the uh, 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 thing that uh, may uh, sever or uh, cause a relapse in this fellowship because it's so fragile and so easily broken that at the slightest of uh, sin, mistakes or error, however you call it, it easily cracks and is broken. And then uh, the uh, restoration and how a uh, fellowship can be uh, restored or recovered uh, because it can be fellowship can be lost but it can be uh, uh, recovered uh, unlike salvation which can never be lost because it's uh, permanent at uh, the only way that the lord has given us as a safety net para uh, ang uh, broken fellowship uh, Uh, could be mended na ito ay maibalik ay of course is the way of confession if we confess in other words is an admission by the last living apostle who died of old age somewhere between 90 to 100 years old na uh, the apostles never claimed sinless perfection that no matter how close they were to the Lord Uh, they were susceptible to falling or committing sins. So the only time we will become sinlessly perfect is when the rapture takes place or we leave this body at death 
and uh, go home to be with the Lord. Okay, doon lamang ang karanasan na kailanman hindi na tayo magkakasala. Okay? So, meanwhile, dito sa lupa ay uh, uh, para madetermina ang mga naukol o narapat na rewards na uh, makamta natin mula sa Panginoon when He uh, comes again, ay He gives us ample opportunities and time para tayo ay uh, makapaglingkod uh, sa Panginoon. Okay? So, and then, uh, this fellowship uh, uh, would uh, 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 grow and uh, uh, would be uh, uh, found uh, uh, bearing uh, fruits. Okay? Uh, isa dito ay ang joy. Okay? And then we will also be receiving uh, a, uh, other crowns other than crown of rejoicing for leading a soul to Jesus and the four other uh, mentioned New Testament crowns that the Lord promised to them that love Him. Okay, so ngayon, I, we want to have fellowship with God. We want to have fellowship among ourselves. Ano ang fellowship na ito uh, is uh, sa darating sa darating na anniversary natin ay may mga churches na pupunta dito and this is for sure. Okay? Pinakamalaki sa pupunta dito ay 57. Kinonfirm nila yon And then some others at ngayon may tinanggap rin ako at uh, some graduates at hindi pa nga na-inform ang ibang graduates ay so that we can uh, foster uh, uh, fellowship and friendship with this uh, 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 Christians and other churches. Ano ang tawag doon sa fellowship na yon? Interchurch fellowship. Uh, sa Sunday, sa ating Lord's Supper, ano ang tawag doon? Interest among ourselves. Oh, at least may natutunan na kayo. Okay, so uh, I hope you would be conscious of this. And sa mga taong mga Christians na non-Baptist nor members of our church or other churches, Uh, irrespective of denominational affiliation, if they are truly born again and are sure of heaven, we can have individual fellowship with them. Okay? Tatlong ay ang ibinigay ko sa inyo. Individual fellowship, uh, uh, inter-church uh, uh, fellowship, and then intra-church fellowship. Now, tonight, uh, in order for uh, our uh, uh, fellowship, okay, uh, to be Uh, uh, in order ay kinakailangan nito ang uh, kaakibot o uh, kasama nito ang o bagay na ito ay minsan nakakalimutan pagdating sa fellowship. Please uh, erase from your minds that when it comes to fellowship is a matter of table or <laughs> kainan. Okay. May mga taong pag ang konsepto nila sa fellowship ay merong kainan. Okay? It need not be that way. But good kung meron. So, anyway, I will be reading, uh, uh, I will be citing several verses at uh, audience participation. Whoever uh, uh, gets to the uh, uh, cited uh, text, you stand up and read. And while you read, you observe the wordings and the others too. As you listen to them read, I please, okay, observe, okay, uh, what they are reading. Uh, because what we will uh, 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 get into the root of the matter is uh, uh, we will uh, try to assess the uh, least common denominator among these verses. Okay? Are you ready? Do you have a Bible? Okay. Okay, uh, una, uh, first, uh, Old and New Testament, okay? Okay, Judith, one, one. <laughs> oh, wala bang Judith? <laughs> apokripa, apokripa yun. <laughs> okay, so anyway, ito ang mga uh, verses, and uh, notice with me, na ito ay the other uh, side of the coin of fellowship. Okay? Ano kaya ito? Sa umaga, I have cited this several times since we began on the lives of the apostles. 
Okay? Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Mark chapter 8, verse 34 to 38. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. And John chapter 12, verse 24 to verse 26. At least apat lang. Okay? I need four volunteers. Kung nakuha ninyo. Isa, isa, isa lang. Okay. Uh, microphone, please. Okay. Yeah. Um, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Okay. Mark chapter 4, verse 34 to 38. But without a parable, he spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day, when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was, not, it was now full. Verse 38, And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him, and said to him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Excuse me, uh, what uh, uh, text ang binasa mo? Mark, Mark um, chapter 4. Mark chapter? 4. Chap Chapter 8 yata oh, sinabi ko. <laughs> chapter 8. Verse 34 to verse 38. <laughs> Sorry. Mark chapter 8, verses 34 to 38. As I read, And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my name's sake, for my sake, rather, and the gospel's the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me, and of my words in the adulterous, in this adulterous and sinful generation of, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed. When he cometh, sorry, in the glory of his Father with the holy of angels. Okay. Luke 9, 23. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. And he said unto them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Okay, last the lag. Okay, anyone? Oh, Brother Sunny, say Bini began microphone. John chapter 12, verse 25 and 26. O oh, meron pala, Sister Mercy. John 12, 20, 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. Verse 26. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Okay. Nasa gitna ng witnessing at saka ng fellowship ang word na obedience. Sa uh, uh, common verses na binasa sa atin, ano ang particular na of, of phrase na inuulit-ulit dito? Follow me. So, in order for us to uh, cultivate and maintain our fellowship with God is... We have to follow him. Fellowship and fellowship must go together. 
Okay, so may the Lord bless the reading of his word. And the Lord in his initial call upon the uh, disciples of John the Baptist, ang sabi ng Panginoon sa mga ito na nabanggit ng pangalan uh, ng mga tinawag ng Panginoon, ang wika ng Panginoon, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Matthew chapter 4 verse 18. So ang implication nito pala, pag tayo ay may uh, uh, fellowship sa Panginoon at pagsunod sa Panginoon, ay it will produce na tayo ay may maaakit uh, uh, na kapwa o iba sa Panginoon. So it's just uh, as simple as that. Okay, now, let me pause to say this at the outset. Sa ating mga binasang talata, all of these are actually uh, expounding uh, the uh, uh, one or two of uh, uh, the titles uh, na ito ay uh, ibinibigay sa mga uh, early Christians o sa mga uh, 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 mananampalataya um, nung kapanahonan una na sila ay uh, uh, disciples the first word na ginamit sa Bible in order to uh, give distinction to these men that the Lord called uh, to salvation and then to service etc is disciples okay we find Moses' disciples, or we find uh, uh, John the Baptist's disciples, and then uh, the Lord also said, my disciples. Sa common phrase on follow me, and I will make you a fishers of men. Uh, if uh, you uh, uh, desire to be a disciple of the Lord, okay, you have to take up your cross daily and follow the Lord. So, the uh, uh, daily Christian life is to be subject to obedience uh, to God's will, to follow the Lord's will. In the book of Acts, ay ating mapapansin, in view of the Lord's call upon the disciples, follow me. And then we find in the book of Acts that before they were even uh, uh, called as Christians first in Antioch, of Syria, we find that they were called as disciples. And also in the book of Acts, uh, to insult before employing the word or the title Christian that is with the, uh, which is derogatory and uh, to uh, despise them or downgrade them as followers of the, the carpenter, our Lord Jesus Christ. I think mapapansin that they were called so many times in the book of Acts, okay, hindi lang followers of Christ, hindi lang uh, uh, disciples, but in the book of Acts, they are known as, okay, followers of the way. Na over and over again, uh, the book of Acts is saturated with this identity that the disciples of the Lord were followers of the way. Okay? Na tinawag nila uh, the way, which is a sect. Uh, sa, uh, New Testament, a sect known as the way. Or a group that is known as the way. This refers to believers. At uh, bakit sila tinawag, in-identify as uh, uh, followers of the way? Okay? Kung naalala nyo nung Sunday... Was it Sunday morning? Yung common symbol ngayon ng uh, Christianity of uh, Christians ay the cross. But the er early times, ay it was a fish. Sorry, tignan ninyo sa archaeology, yung symbol of the fish. Because uh, most of the apostles that were sent out by the Lord were fishermen. Okay? Now, in this case, Bakit sila tinawag ng mga kaaway ng Panginoon as followers of the way or this way? Why were uh, uh, they uh, called uh, 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 followers of this way or the way? Alam niyo kung bakit? Because Jesus Christ said, I am the way. 
And uh, that is parang insulto hindi it sila. It's a, more of a reproach to them. Na, oh, here are the followers of them. Nagsasabi na siya ang Messiah. He has no uh, palace. He has no uh, uh, crown. He has uh, 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 no bed, uh, etc. Is a poor uh, uh, poor man. He's uh, in poverty. Pagkatapos sabihin niya na he is the way. Uh, the truth and the life. Kaya, tinawag yung mga early disciples as the way. Okay? Followers of the way. And uh, this is more or less, itong salitang itong followers of the way is closely akin or associated with discipleship, with disciples, that they, they are uh, uh, the Lord's disciples. Follow me. Okay? So follow me, he is going to mentor them for a period of three years. Personally, na sila ay tinuruan ng Panginoon who is uh, uh, the rabbi and the perfect rabbi na even a common rabbi uh, approach him in uh, the darkness of night na sinabi uh, sa Panginoon, Rabbi, thou art a teacher, uh, come from God, which is really true. But uh, not only that, but He is God Himself who came in the form of human flesh. Now, uh, we find that a disciple, ang salitang English word na disciple, is galing ito sa Latin na disciplos. Disciplos. At ang Latin, mas uh, closer sa English, Disciples, disciple. Okay? Uh, uh, at ang Latin dit, ang Latin ay nanggaling naman ito, sinalin, galing sa Greek na matetis. Mat, pagkatapos, thetis. Na ang ibig sabihin, disciple. Sabi ng Panginoon, go ye into all the world and make disciples of all men. But just what is a disciple? Kaya pala, ang bawat Christian pala should engage in discipling others. Dapat tayo ay nagdi-disciple ng, at, ng iba. At pagdating sa church, what we do is uh, we are in the process of uh, uh, conserving uh, discipleship. Kinukonserve natin within the church ang mga nadi-disciple sa labas ng church, mga na-evangelize. A disciple... Uh, or matetis, the Greek word there, sa Mark chapter 16, verse 15, at ganun rin, uh, sa uh, Matthew 28, 19, and 20, I we understand that a disciple is a pupil, a follower, a learner, or a student. And Jesus Christ is the rabbi or the mentor. Okay, so, ngayon, ano ang, uh, uh, ano ang, ano uh, Na, uh, uh, napansin natin dito sa binasa ninyong uh, talatang follow me that in order to uh, obey the Lord now one one uh, best example that I can cite of uh, sabihin na siya ang isang magandang uh, uh, follower ng Panginoon na lugod-lugod ang Panginoon sa kanya na siya ay naglingkod sa iba-ibang mga kaparaanan at siya ay tumanda na naglilingkod pa rin siya at sumusunod sa Panginoon. Naalala niyo ang Bible character na ito? Nasabi niya at the age of uh, uh, 86 years old, ang sabi niya, give me this mountain. At age of 86, gusto natin lailo na at uh, 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 retire na. na. Kuha niya na ang kanyang mana but he was not satisfied. He wanted uh, 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 a larger uh, place na doon sa lugar na ito, sabi niya, give me this mountain. Uh, mountain, ang mountain na ito is full of uh, uh, anakims, the sons of anak o mga uh, malalaki. Gante. Sabi niya, give me this mountain as my strength was when I was 40 years old and now I'm 86 years old. It's still the same. 86. Okay, no 40 Life begins at 40, but 86, 
hahabol niya pa rin ang claim niyang uh, inheritance is uh, where the giants were uh, living. Sabi sa Bible, and blank followed the Lord wholly, fully, and completely. Answer. Okay. Si Caleb. Si Caleb. Ang uh, pronunciation ng mga Jews ay Caleb. Sa English, Caleb. Okay. Si Caleb ay he followed three times sinabi ni Moses, Caleb followed the Lord wholly. And then the Lord said, Caleb followed the Lord wholly. And then si uh, uh, Caleb, gusto niya English pronunciation, Caleb followed the Lord wholly. So three witnesses na siya ay mula sa kanyang uh, pagsunod sa Panginoon and uh, hanggang sa siya ay tumanda na ay naglilingkod pa rin siya sa Panginoon at lubos na sumusunod pa rin sa Panginoon. This is the kind of disciples, followers, Christians or believers that the Lord is in search of. And uh, they are wanted in the Lord's work. We need Caleb's, we need Caleb's sa ating uh, kapanahonan. So, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. But to follow the Lord is not an easy matter. It will cost you something. Okay? If any man, okay, uh, uh, follows me, ang sabi ng Panginoon, let him deny himself. No, deny himself. Okay? That is, do not put himself that much importance or uh, uh, priority. Dapat God first. If anyone be my disciple, let him follow me. But the cost is he or she must hate his father, his mother, his brother, his sister, his wife, uh, her husband, uh, children. Yay! Okay, uh, lahat na ng relationships. Hindi ibig sabihin ng Panginoon, you hate your father, your mother. Sinabi niya, love your father and your mothers. Obey, uh, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Yung hate doon is in the priority, priority system of your relationship ay ang mga ito in comparison with the Lord must come secondarily. Hindi sila mas nangingibabaw pa sa Panginoon. Okay? So ang tindi pala. If any man uh, be my disciple, let him take up his cross sometimes. Amen? Ha? Huh? Daily yata ang nabasa ko sa Bible. Let him take up his cross. Ibig ba sabihin ni Solimik, gawa tayo ng cross at pasanin natin dyan at pagkatapos may mumapalo sa atin at as a flagellan tayo ipako sa cross at uh, magdusa doon uh, under the heat of the noonday sun until 3 o'clock in the afternoon? No. Okay? Let him take up his cross. What is it that you are uh, bearing? Ano ba pinapasan mo sa buhay na ito? Ano ba problema mo? Okay? Hindi natin maalis ang problema sa buhay na ito. Ano bang, ano, what is it that bugs you, that bothers you? What is it that is seemingly a baggage to you that uh, is just to uh, uneasy to uh, uh, yield it to the Lord, give it up, and keep on following the Lord in spite of all this? Diba? Kaya if you want to have fellowship with the Lord, there is a need for obedience and that is uh, the opposite side of fellowship is fellowship. Ano yung tindin mo ninyo ang mga sinasabi ko? Sige, bibikulin ko na nga lang. Okay. So, follow me. Sabi na po, follow me even as I also follow Christ. In closing, Sa Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, sabay-sabay nating basahin. And this is what obedience really is all about. Ephesians chapter 5. I hope you got it. Ephesians chapter 5. 
Okay? Shall we all read it together? Ephesians 5, 1. Everyone, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. You want the fellowship with God to blossom, to prosper, to grow, to be strengthened. Fellowship plus fellowship must go together. Let's all stand. <laughs> and let's sing that song. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Uh, anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on Brother Sunny, okay? As we close. Okay, tama-tama lang, ha? ilang minutes lang. Team number 189, follow on. Let's sing the all stanza. Down in the valley with my Savior I would go Where the flowers are blooming and the sweet waters flow Everywhere He leads me I would follow, follow on Walking in his footsteps till the crown be won. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I would follow on. Sing it Down in the valley with my Savior I would go. Where the storms are sweeping and the dark waters flow With his hand he lead me, I will never, never fear Dangers cannot fright me if my Lord is near Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus Everywhere he leads me, I would follow. That's all. Down in the valley or up on the mountain steep, close beside my Savior would my soul ever keep. He will lead me safely in the path that he has trod, up to where they gather on the hills of God. Follow, follow, I would follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere he leads me, I will follow. Hey, hey. Thank you. Okay, you may please be seated. Uh, are there prayer requests that uh, were sent by our uh, brethren? sa online natin meron ba? Wala? Okay, so kung wala, di, thank you na lang thank you Lord for all answered prayers okay? Anong dapat natin ipanalangin? Thank God Brother Jabez is back uh, to the family and with us here tonight ilan na lang natitirang uh, 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 semen sa barko Brother Daryl uh, Titus Sino pa? Etc. Okay? Okay, anyone else? Mga missions natin sa iba-ibang lugar. Okay? Maraming uh, open doors at uh, uh, fields na kailangan lang talaga someone to obey and follow the Lord. Okay? Anyone else? sa linggo ito ang pinaka height ng fellowship communion talaga <laughs> okay okay so uh, uh, alam na ng bawat cluster uh, groups okay ang uh, inyong parts every uh, cluster group uh, uh, will have to participate okay Okay, ano pa? Panalangin natin ang choir. Okay? 
uh, two Sundays to go. Sunday, Lord's Supper, then uh, anniversary Sunday. Which is about, both of these are big days in the life of this church. Okay? Sana bago mag-rapture, maka-fifth pa tayo. The Lord will. <laughs> okay, golden. Okay? Wala na? Wala na. Okay, let's close in prayer. Brother Chavez, would you lead and close us in prayers? Wala naman. Let's pray for the officers, for uh, members abroad, and uh, for our country, and uh, for every uh, Sunday school teachers, choir, ministers natin, and our country too, na uh, tayo ay uh, ingatan ng Panginoon laban sa mga uh, dayuhan na nais na tayo isakupin. Okay, wala na? Okay, go ahead, brother. Okay, yeah, let us pray. Uh, Lord God, our gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, again for this our evening Father, you've given you us. Thank you, Lord, for bringing every brethren here, Lord, Lord gathering us the, to conduct this prayer meeting. Thank you, Lord, for your word that was brought yeah. right through our pastor, Lord. We pray that may you continue to bless that, uh, the fellowship yeah, of every brethren, Lord. We pray, Lord, that may you... Uh, Encourage Thank us also, Lord, to follow you and, and take up our cross, deny ourselves daily, Lord. And I pray, Lord, may also bless um, at the upcoming uh, Lord's Supper, Lord. We pray, Lord, that may you uh, keep our hearts in tune and prepare for this uh, height in our uh, uh, spiritual life, Lord. I pray, Lord, for our country. I pray, Lord, for our government. I pray, Lord, for our Thank president. So May you uh, bless him with wisdom and also uh, conduct him to uh, make wise decisions, Lord, that will benefit uh, the good, goodness of our country, Lord. I also pray, Lord, for our sick brethren. I pray, Lord, that may you uh, uh, bless them, Lord. Also, those who took care of them, Lord, I pray that may you encourage them, uh, fill them, Lord, with strength, that uh, they may be able to... Uh, uh, Take care of their loved ones, O oh Lord. And uh, also encourage those who are in their sick beds, Lord. Bless their hearts, Lord. And uh, keep them, Lord, in all way. And I also pray, Father, for uh, your missions over uh, overseas. I pray, Lord, also for uh, the churches, Lord. I pray that may you uh, bless them also, Lord, and prepare them, Lord, for your near coming also, Lord. May they be uh, uh, full in height and in spirit, Lord. I pray, Lord, for... Uh, uh, the church anniversary. I pray, Lord, for uh, the preparations that uh, we are, our church is conducting, Lord. I pray, Lord, that may you bless each and every one of us. I also pray, Lord, for your ministries. Pray, Lord, for the choir. Pray, Lord, for our choir director, our pianist, Lord, their family as well. Continue to bless them also, Lord, and use them uh, for your ministry, for your field. And I also pray, dear Lord, for our deacons and their families as well. I pray, Lord, also for the seamen uh, members, yeah, the overseas workers, O oh Lord. I pray that may you bless and encourage them being uh, away, Lord. I pray that may you continue to keep them safe and away from hurt and harm. And I pray also, dear Lord, that may you bless their families as uh, they long for their loved ones also, Lord. I also pray, Lord, that may you uh, bless the choir rehearsal this evening. Also pray, Lord, that may you guide uh, members to uh, uh, sing in the spirit and with the understanding also. And I also pray, Lord, for uh, the chipney ministry, the soul winning ministry, Lord, the evangelism, uh, the evangelism class, also the Bible college students. I continue to pray for them. May you encourage them, Lord, and fill them with your spirit. And uh, keep them, Lord, in all your ways that they may be able to uh, uh, serve you and uh, praise you in everything that they will do. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for your, uh, your overflowing grace on us. And uh, forgive us, Lord, for our many sins and shortcomings. We praise you, Lord, and may you guide us as we uh, go back to our respective homes and uh, keep us uh, safe and prepare us, Lord, for uh, the next days that we have for this week. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We praise you, Lord. These things we humbly ask and pray in the name of Christ, our Amen. Savior, our Praise Redeemer, our Mediator, and King. These things we humbly ask and pray. Amen.
thank you, Lord, for everyone present. And bless you, Lord, and uh, help us in our fellowship and partnership of, uh, for you. And thank you in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Choir practice this. You can go ahead this early. And so you can have ample time to prepare to special occasions. Rehearsal of the brother, young uh, fanatic. 